Hello everyone and welcome to a special report on the recovery of the Lynx spacecraft launched yesterday on the EDB's ELO-1 mission. The recovery was successful and stored in the capsule was this recording from a camera on the service module showing the ignition of the service module's ED-1 engine and ED-3 verniers for the re-entry retroburn. After that burn, the service module was decoupled, exposing the capsule's heat shield, but not before diagnostic data and video from the service module was fully transferred to the returning capsule. The spacecraft conducted its retroburn only partway through its first orbit, and its splashdown was planned to be a mere hour and 20 minutes after launch. During the entire mission from launch to splashdown, the spacecraft was completely automated and the retroburn was conducted during a gap in communication coverage, which is why the video was not transmitted immediately. Once the service module separates, the command module has limited power in its batteries and is not meant to make high bandwidth transmissions like video during the final phase of the mission. Aside from that retroburn clip, the rest of this is a simulated view. The EDB is thrilled by this success as the Lynx spacecraft is an expensive investment. Upcoming plans are to begin construction of an orbital habitat for wealthy tourists and to certify the Lynx spacecraft to launch tourists to this low Earth orbit hotel. The modules of the tourist station are being made out of the upper stage tank of the Sagitta rocket, which is 3.7 meters in diameter. They will be covered in insulation and micrometeorite protection layers, as well as fitted with docking ports and life support. So in essence, the EDB is opting for a smaller scale Skylab model initially with a dry workshop. Down the road though, if there is enough interest, perhaps a Bigelow Aerospace inflatable module will be added to provide space tourists with a more luxurious stay. For now, the first step in a plan that extends to both the Moon and Mars has taken place successfully. Thank you for watching this special report on the recovery of the ELO-1 Lynx spacecraft.